the Range Rover Velar is a high-end spin-on Jaguar F-Pace underpinnings. This is Range Rover's crossover, the Velar. As you might remember from the teaser we showed you earlier, it's named after the first 26 prototypes of the first Range Rover model, launched in 1970 and one of the first SUVs. The word Velar is derived from the Latin for sale, or veiled. The new model makes its formal debut at the Geneva show and goes on sale this summer priced between $50,895 and $90,295. You might think that this seems like a mightily expensive, gussied up F-Pace, which shares the same aluminum rich underpinnings and starts at $42,985. Land Rover's marketing wonks, however, claim Velar fits precisely into a $23,850 wide price gap between the $42,795 Evoque and the $66,645 Range Rover Sport. Velar is a lower, longer vehicle than its bigger and smaller Range Rover sisters. It's 189.1 inches long and 74.9 inches wide on a 113.1 inch wheelbase into which are fitted 5 seats and 34.4 cubic feet of luggage space ending in a top hinged hatchback. At 65.6 inches high, it's the lowest vehicle in the Range Rover range, some 9.6 inches lower than a full sized Range Rover. Rear seats split 40-20-40% and there's the possibility of a full-sized spare wheel under the false trunk floor. While Range Rover has traditionally traded on its off-road authenticity, Velar is effectively a crossover and will compete against other conventional 4x4 wagons and soft roader slash crossovers such as the BMW X5, Audi Q7 and A6 Al Road, Mercedes-Benz GLE Class Coupe and Volvo XC90 and V90 for X4 Cross Country. It rides on an unequal length wishbone front suspension and an integral link independent rear, with a choice of 18 to 22 inch wheels and tires. Most models will come with air suspensions, which allows the Velar to be equipped with Land Rover's terrain response system, which automatically sets up the suspension and driveline for a variety of environments selected by icons on the dashboard. The air suspension gives a maximum ground clearance of 9.9 .9 inches and lowers by January 6 inches at the rear to aid loading. It will wade in up to 25.6 inches of water. While in the United Kingdom there will be four engine choices, here in America there are just three, Land Rover's own Ingenium 2-liter diesel producing 180 horsepower and 317 lb-ft of torque, the debut of Land Rover's UK-produced 2-liter turbo gas unit producing 247 HP, and a 380 HP 3-liter V6 supercharged gas engine. We won't be getting the 3.0-liter Lion turbo diesel, but it'll be available in Europe. Performance across the range runs from top speeds of 130 miles per hour to 155 miles per hour and 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration from 8.4 to 5.3 seconds. The sole transmission is the ZF8 speed automatic and while there is permanent four-wheel drive, there is no option of a transfer box and a set of crawler gears. The V6 models can tow up to 5,500 pounds. A first for Range Rover will be the adaptive electronically locking rear differential.